Hello friends. Now we are going to start another topic in the chapter number 6 mensuration and that is sphere. I don't think I have to explain you what the sphere means. Everybody knows that the sphere means the ball shape. Okay. There is not much to talk about this. Here we are going to learn about the sphere and hemisphere. When I say sphere means a ball shape, the hemisphere means the half of the ball shape. If the ball is cut in between, I mean solid ball is cut in between, it will be called as the hemisphere. Now there is not much lot discuss about it. Let us quickly see the formulas what we are going to use in the calculations of different identities of sphere and hemisphere. First of all, the sphere is a ball shape as I told you which has got one radius and hemisphere is a a ball shape which is cut exactly on the diameter of it. So we will see the different identities. The first of this is surface area or total surface area we can say. Let us see the formula for total surface area of the sphere and hemisphere. Total surface area for sphere is 4 pi r square. The formula for the total surface area of sphere is 4 pi r square and the volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Now in case of hemisphere, if we say the total surface area what will be total surface area? First of all, the total surface area includes this curved surface area and this plane surface. The curved surface area will be half of this. That's, that means 2 pi r square. And the top surface area is pi r square because this is a perfect circle with the radius r. So total it will be 3 pi r square. In case of sphere, the total surface area and curved surface area is one and same. But that is not the case in case of hemisphere. So in case of hemisphere, the curved surface area, curved surface area is half of this, that is 2 pi r square. And of course, the volume of hemisphere is half of the volume of the sphere because this is cut exactly on the halfway. So the volume in this case will be half of the complete square that is 2 by 3 pi r cube. So these are the formulas we are going to use in the calculations of the problems based on sphere and hemisphere. So let us see some solid examples before going to the exercise. Let us see one problem. The radius of a sphere is 14 centimeter. Find the total surface area and volume of the sphere. Now I told you in case of sphere, total surface area and the curved surface area is one and same. Radius is given, formula is you know. So this is just a substitution of formula. You can easily solve this. Just don't forget to write the units. When it is an area, it will be centimeter square because they are given radius is 14 centimeters and when you are calculating volume the unit will be centimeter cube. Let us see next example. The surface area of a sphere is 50.24 centimeter square find the radius. This is exactly substitution of formula. Now in this case the surface area is given and you have to find out the radius of the sphere. Now value of pi you can take as per your convenience that is 22 by 
7 or 3.14. Now in this case pi is given 3.14. So you have to take 3.14 only. But if it is not given then you can take 22 by 7 or 3.14. Let us see what another type of examples can come on sphere. The volume of sphere is 36,000 pi centimeter cube. The volume is given 36,000 pi centimeter cube find a radius of the sphere. Now this is again a direct substitution. Only thing is pi is given as a pi. So don't try to multiply or divide whenever the pi is given. We have v is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. Volume is given 36,000 pi that is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. This pi will get cancelled. You can easily calculate the r by taking the cube root of both the sides. Please pause your video and find out the answer what is r. The r is 30 centimeter. Centimeter because they are given in centimeter cube. Volume in centimeter cube. So r will be 30 centimeter. Please check your answer. Let us go to next problem. Find the surface area and volume of hemisphere with radius 10 centimeters. Now in this case the radius is already given, hemisphere is given and they want the total surface area and volume of the hemisphere. Both the formulas, this is the direct substitution of formula and you can easily, easily calculate it. So friends, now we are going to solve the exercise 6.7. Thank you.